Good afternoon. Welcome to Scuola Normale Superiore. Some of you are aware that this is a special day for us. Uh, this is uh, uh, the birthday of this institution. We celebrated this morning uh, this uh, in, in, a, in another ceremony. On October 18th, uh, 1810, uh, Napoleon founded uh, the Scuola Normale Superiore, the institution where uh, you are now. It's now 202 years, uh, and it's a more recent tradition that in that very day we have one uh, scientific uh, uh, event of interest uh, for our community. In this Good afternoon. Welcome to Scuola Normale Superiore. Some of you are aware that this is a special day for us. Uh, this is uh, uh, the birthday of this institution. We celebrated this morning uh, this uh, in, in, a, in another ceremony. On October 18th, uh, 1810, uh, Napoleon founded uh, the Scuola Normale Superiore, the institution where uh, you are now. It's now 202 years, uh, and it's a more recent tradition that in that very day we have one uh, scientific uh, uh, event of interest uh, for our community, in this case uh, uh, the present uh, uh, event. Uh, instabilities in financial markets. You are also all aware that there is some construction work going on in the square in front of here. It's going to be a nightmare. If it can make you feel better, it's been like that for three months now. So most of us are used to it. We tend to be depressed and things. We don't know why, and that's because of the noise. I hope uh, uh, you'll be able to manage. We managed to have them stop for half a day this morning. And it was quite an achievement, a quite a relief. So we couldn't get the whole day. We are sorry for that. Um, anyway, despite this, I hope you'll feel welcome. You're definitely welcome from uh, our point of view. We are confident uh, that uh, the meeting will be fruitful uh, and interesting for all of you. And I hope you also have an opportunity to visit uh, uh, the building. Something uh, new has happened today. And all the artwork you see uh, around this building uh, is uh, uh, here starting today. So you have uh, a preview of, in, of a new configuration of this building and I hope you'll have a chance uh, to visit it. Um, one final thing is uh, from uh, my point of view to thank the organizers of, of this meeting on behalf of the Scuola Normale, uh, Professor Marmi and Professor Dillo. Thank you very much uh, uh, for organizing this event uh, uh, for us, uh, and good work uh, to all of you. Now, Stefano, if you want to take the floor. So, thank you very much. Um, um, today, it's the uh, anniversary of the Scuola Normale. Uh, it's the 202nd anniversary of the Scuola Normale, uh, which is a very important event. And uh, tomorrow, it's another anniversary, which is not as important, but it has had certainly a wide impact. Because on October uh, 19th, 1987, the uh, American stock market lost 22% of its value in just one day. This is called Black Monday, and uh, it's uh, a very strong uh, uh, impact uh, event in the uh, conscience and in the general public in the United States. The United States is a, a country which has a much smaller welfare and uh, the uh, stock market is not considered something restricted to the elites. There is uh, something like I think 45-50% of uh, families which invest directly or indirectly in the stock market. So a 20% loss in just one day for a stock market in that country is a very traumatic thing. Now, uh, today and tomorrow we will try to go through the subject of instabilities in financial markets. Uh, this is a very 
comp I mean, a very sophisticated subject, but also, as I just mentioned, a very high impact one. It's a sophisticated subject because it uh, requires uh, different uh, techniques and points of view to be attacked, to be understood. We are very far from having a general understanding of the complexity of the network of relationships that we have both in, uh, between different financial institutions, both specially, but both in terms of uh, money flows and also in terms of time scales. Because the instability of the financial markets in the recent years has also been quite evident at a level which is less uh, uh, macroscopic but nevertheless of high impact with uh, what is, has, I mean, the, the, the prototype has been this May 6, uh, 2010 flash crash when the American stock market lost 9% in four minutes. Then it recovered, thanks God, but it was really like seeing uh, everything getting to a black hole and escaping the event of horizon uh, just by a, a, a very thin uh, um, margin of safety. And uh, in general, the problem is, can we understand in an integrated way uh, what happens? Uh, the different talks, I think, and speeches will make clear that we really need an integrated point of view. And I hope that today and tomorrow we will be able to contribute to understanding of this uh, uh, important and fascinating subject, also in times where finance needs somehow to establish a better track record. Because after all, the purpose of markets should be to be able to convey information and to be able to make uh, economics uh, somehow more democratic. And this is not always the case, and the right structure of the markets is certainly a major uh, uh, tool which we have to find in order to obtain this goal. Uh, for this purpose, I'm extremely happy to acknowledge the fact that the first speaker today that has been an inversion in the schedule is uh, uh, Giuseppe Vegas, who is sitting here. He is the president of the Italian uh, uh, CONSOB, which is the analog of the US uh, uh, Security Exchange Commission. It's the regulator in charge of uh, uh, the stock market. And um, I really thank him for coming, and I just invite him to give his talk. <laughs>